Well, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, my Saturday morning people. How are you? <laughs> Most importantly, let's have some coffee, shall we? Mmm, that is good coffee. As you can see, we are very comfortable. <laughs> Aren't we, my love? Mmm. Mmm. Yes, we are. So, as you can see, we are finally comfortable in our couch. Uh, the couch was a lot bigger than I thought. Because when I went to the showroom, uh, Ashley's, they did not have this model. They just had the couch part, but not this part, which is really, really huge. <laughs> we don't mind. And guess what we collect now? Octopi. <laughs> Aren't the coolest things? <laughs> Here's another one. Here's one. This one's the upper end. And I even have this little guy. This little guy sits on my desk. This is from Melissa. So, oh my God, is, this is the best thing in the world, isn't it, baby? Isn't this the best thing in the world? We love this couch. It is so comfy. It is a lot bigger than we thought, but that's fine. It, at least it fits in the apartment. I do have it on an angle, so I can look right down, and I'll show you the view uh, at the end. I'll show you a picture of our view, because against the wall, all I can see is parking lot. <laughs> and that's not what I want. Oh, no. I have it at an angle, <clears throat> and I can look right down the water, and it's beautiful. It is just so good. I have already fallen asleep on it twice. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, lots to talk about this week. Oh yes, but we are so glad we have this couch. So glad. So, what have we done this week? Let's see. Um. Oh, uh, let me have another sip of my coffee here. Um, I just made it, and it's so good. Mmm, it touches your soul. <laughs> also, this coffee is so good. This is my Four Sigmatic Ashwagandha coffee, and I now have, um, I, put, I made uh, an uh, Amazon affiliate link. <clears throat> so I have a link in the description to this coffee if you want to try it. It's so good. And if you go through my, I do have an affiliation with um, Amazon now. So um, that would help me out. Uh, I do get a little percentage, probably a teeny, teeny, teeny percentage. Nothing that would really make a difference, but it would make a difference for me. <laughs> Since I'm on SSI. Uh, <clears throat> oh! Oh, that one last bolt on the license plate, damn my patootie, I'm telling you. Um, I We finally got it. Uh, it. Couldn't do it with the tools that we had, so I finally went across the street. And um, there's an auto place across the street, and they did it. Boom, boom, boom. <coughs> Took care of it in two seconds. <coughs> Gave the kid a little tip. <coughs> and um, because, you know, the only tools that I have are the female tools. Um, a butter knife and a high heel. <laughs> so that's that. I went and I got, oh, I went and got my library card and a um, uh, really nice place. I'm going to go back um, sometime next week. That's what I'm going to do next week is and look for um, botanical um, books to help me with um, references to my art. But um, on the way back, I was going to go to lunch at this place that I know is on um, Central. It's a bakery slash lunch type, but I couldn't find it. And there was all this construction. I was like, you know what? I'll just go to this place called Kelly's Roast Beef that's around the corner here. And it's kind of like an Anderson's, but better. Oh my God. It is so much better. I went down there and um, this place is from Boston and as a Buffalonian who grew up with roast beef on Weck and uh, spent her summers in uh, uh, New England, Massachusetts um, with her dad, um, 
let me tell you, they have roast beef. Uh, the whack roll is not really a real whack roll. It was, whack roll. It was a, a sesame seed bun, and I think they put salt in it. It wasn't really, you know, that wasn't it. But that's okay. It was so good. There's going to be a picture of that at the end here. But not only that, they have seafood. And when I saw, you know me, I drive to New England just for fried clams. They had fried clams. They had all kinds of seafood and stuff. And then I remembered they're from Boston because I, you know, it's on the Facebook page, you know, all the new stuff in, in the area. <laughs> and yes, darling, yes. And then, um, he got you. He's not okay. And where was I? Um, so I asked them, you know, it, it is Florida. I said, I, I said, can I ask a question about the clams? Are they, are they are they um, frozen? He said, yes, they are, but they're from Ipswich, which Ipswich has the best fried clams in New England. So I said, I'll be back to give them a try. Believe me, I have a feeling that they're going to be good anyways. So um, I can't wait. That is one of the things. Uh, it's probably something I will do next week as well. <laughs> it's kind of like it, it is a franchise. And it is kind of like Anderson's. And, you know, Anderson's was still good, even though they were a franchise. So I, uh, the, the menu, I took uh, photos of the menu because I, oh, I put this menu that I could bring home. Lots of really, really good stuff. Uh, I'm a big seafood lover. Um, not a lot, but the stuff that they had, fried clams, they had lobster rolls. Of course, there was no price because, you know, those prices change daily. I don't, I'm not a lobster roll person, but I will do the clams. Oh my gosh, yes, I will. And the sandwich was so good that it is nice to have a place uh, uh, right around the corner to go to that is kind of like it, that I could go for lunch or dinner and not have to look for parking and not have to wait in line. <laughs> One of the things I'm finding out about, um, that I am finding out about um, Florida. So, I'm get itchy. So that's that. Um, so I don't have to drive to New England for fried clams anymore because I don't plan on ever being up that way ever again. Um, I would say because <laughs> I can't do the drive anymore. I just can't. I'm not really good at flying. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Um, so that's good. That's good. Um, food. It is a little pricey, so that's why I won't be there every week. But uh, I definitely want. I need, need to try those. Um, let's see, what else have we done this week? This week I did do a lot of, um, a lot of art, a lot of uh, tutorials. I did do, um, an unboxing swatch and I did do, um, a painting with my new Paul Rubens. So look for those two videos. Um, uh, I did notice that I have to do a lot more, excuse me, tutorials because I need to get better with my art. So the more you do, the better you get. So starting, I don't really do art on the weekends. I think I'm going to do some on this weekend uh, and, and just because I, I just love doing it. And these, these new Paul Rubens uh, watercolors are fantastic. I really, really, they're just, they're wonderful. So um, let's see, what else? Uh, what are we going to do? Um, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go back to, um, can I tell you? Oh, I went to the farmer's market um, on Sunday. There's a Corey's market here on Sunday, and it was fun. There's a really cool video at the end. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go back there for, um, for um, I'm going to go back there for, for the veggies. The veggies look so good. So I brought him because I figured it's oh, it's at ten o'clock in the morning, and um, I figured that 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 way he'll get in his W A L K, and um, well I carried him for most of the time because <laughs> it was warm, and you know he's still getting uh, acclimated and, and he's not a long walker. When we do the walk, um, the plaza it's about fifteen minutes trying to elongate it. Because we go, we do the sidewalk halfway up the, the plaza and then we come around 
And of course, all the women at the nail place just love him up. Love him up. He will not walk past her until they come out with him and give him um, hugs and pats and stuff like that. Especially on his birthday. He's four now. My baby is four. Um, so it's like It was like yesterday that they handed me this little hamster that was a one pound seven <laughs> ounces. Yes. He was he was the runt of the litter. Can you believe it? Yeah, he was the runty runty. He was the runties. So I think some more go. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back this time because the thing is with the, the <laughs> veggies look so good. <laughs> tell them, don't tell me. T talk to the people. Talk to the people. Um Except there was a long line because what the the, the veggies the, the the veggies go in and you go in and you're all in a line and you just keep walking forward with your basket grab 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 and then there's a cashier and then there's a line because it's it's they're so good so I didn't want to put him in the line because the line was out in the sun. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back for veggies. <laughs> I'm gonna go back for some veggies. They look so good. I'll go back um, this Sunday. Come here, come here, come here. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So that's that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a lot of art. Um, we're gonna sit on this couch and all week, and now I could like sit and read. And it's like I do used to have my spot over there too. Just to sit and read on Saturday night. But this is going to be, oh, this is game changer. Yes, it is. So, what else do we have here? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, your retro F reference for this week is, uh, remember clip art? <laughs> the original uh, emojis, I, I would say. Um, Remember searching for clip art. If you were, if you used Word, listen, I used to do um, word processing and I used to do, um, oh my God, what was that called? That medical transcription? <laughs> uh, not on Word. Uh, what was it? What was it? Um, oh, I forgot. It was something besides Word. It was like, oh, I forgot what it was. But if I think of it, I'll put it in the lower third. Um, but if you remember Clippy, the little little paper clip guy that would help you when you were doing <laughs> and uh, also um I was listening to that I listen to the 70s station now when I even when I'm driving and the first thing and she's a brick house. She mighty mighty letting it all hang out. Now they said she's 36, 24, 36. Uh, that's not a brick house. <laughs> it might be Raquel Welch or Gina Lola Brigida, but I think a brick house is a little bigger than that. <laughs> I might be a little bit of a brick head. <laughs> uh, things that I Googled this week. Um, let me take another sip of coffee. Well, these are going by so fast lately. I don't. I, I guess I don't have too much to talk about. Mm. Um, you know, if you got any questions, please put them in the uh, comments. I would love to hear what's going on with you and your life. Your coffee mornings. Tell me all about it. So things that I Googled this week. Um, Bobby approved shampoo. Now, I just found um, this. There's a guy who has this um, app called Bobby Approved. And it's all the healthy stuff and healthy food and things like that. And uh, Catherine actually told me about this app a while ago. And um, she would say, you know, you could put your barcode on the stuff and say, oh, it's Bobby approved. She actually told me that my coffee is Bobby approved. <laughs> but um, one of his videos came up <clears throat> when I was doing um, YouTube, my YouTube, uh, whatever, watching my channels. And it was a suggestion, so I watched, and he really is really good. He is very informative, and he tells you about the ingredients you should should not use and things like that. So um, I watched a bunch of his. 
because he did one for Whole Foods, he did one for Aldi. That's the one that got me, the one for Aldi, and then um, stuff like that. So um, I really like that. So he's called Bobby Approved. Um, look for his app and his videos. Um, really good information. And when I went to Aldi, I actually found one of the things that he talked about. I think he's in California, so their food might be different. But because of the information that he gave me, I was able to look at things. Um, I did find some healthy snacks, according to Bobby, that I brought home. So even though I didn't get the products he talked about, I knew what to look for. So um, watch a bunch of his stuff because very, very well informed. Um, another thing I Googled, um, <clears throat> who plays the guitar riff on Superstition? You know, that the beginning of that song, that, um, that uh, the, the song Superstition by um, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> now that's terrible, but you know, if you've listened to it, I love it because it's really catchy. And I was like, who plays that guitar riff? It's not a guitar. <laughs> it's a clavinet. And it's a piano that makes the sound like an electric guitar. And I've, all this time, all these years, this is from the 70s, I thought it was a guitar. I thought somebody really cool was playing that guitar. It's actually Stevie. Stevie does play a lot of other instruments. So isn't, he, doesn't he, isn't he one of those people that plays a ton of instruments as well? And one of the other things that I um, uh, Googled was Gina De Laurentiis. Remember her? Remember when we only had one one food channel that we could watch, maybe two? Uh, God, I would watch the Food Network religiously. And, um, <laughs> and um, because those are the only food channels we had. Now we've got like 60. If you do the Roku or uh, our streaming, there's like on Pluto TV, uh, Roku channel, um, even on, well, I do YouTube TV. Um, there are even champ free um, channels or, or, and things that, that you can download on your Roku that are just all, uh, what is it? iFood. And I watched all of, um, Oh, what's her name? That Southern cook that used to do all the butter. It's really funny. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll put it in the lower third if it comes to me. <laughs> well, anyways, Gina De Laurentiis came up and what? And I remember watching her when she had her baby, um, little um, Jade, and then Jade <laughs> is now 16. Got her license, so she's trying to get her license. Oh, she doesn't have her license yet. <laughs> Giada was uh, um, talking about teaching her to drive. It was just like this uh, what kind of video came up, so I watched it. I mean, this is what happens when you watch the YouTube, watch YouTube. Um, all these suggested uh, videos will come up and stuff like that, depending on what you normally watch and stuff like that. So let's see. Um, so I wanted to see if she was, we know that she's divorced, and then um, I want to see if she was, had a boyfriend. But she does. So it's so weird because her, Valerie Bertinelli, all these people that, you know, they're uh, with new people now. It's just different. It's really different. You know, I was one of those people that, you know, I thought Sonny and Cher would be together forever. And um, Jen and Brad, I, I was, I just felt that those people should have been together forever, but, you know, they weren't. <laughs> Even Lucy and Ricky. Um, they divorced <laughs> God bless the people that are together forever, like my brother and stuff like that. So I am happy for people like that because that's the way it should be. So gosh, listen to me, single Sandy talking about marriage. <laughs> but let me have one more cup. Let me have one more sip of coffee with you, my friends. And it's beautiful. Look at how you just couch <laughs> Oh. oh, that coffee is so good. It is so good. It's really good to have coffee with you. Now go out there and get that day. Have a nice weekend. Relax, enjoy. Go to a farmer's market. Have fun.
and I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys. Bye.